Hello, you all. You already know what we're about to get into. We're going to get into these messages and see what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. We're about to get into these messages and see what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. King of Pentacles. Divine Feminine. Queen of Cups. Wheel of Fortune. Somebody could want to provide something to a divine feminine queen of cups energy. Queen of Pentacles. Somebody is a natural, great diviner. Somebody wanted somebody to let go of being a great diviner, but it's in their nature, a part of who they are. Somebody is a psychic, a psychic witch. Somebody has a high status. This divine feminine could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or have that in your chart. This is this person's business. With that wheel of fortune, somebody could have been trying to change somebody's destiny from them being a diviner or doing divination. Yeah, they wanted them to just let it go. But spirits stepped in and act and acted with somebody trying to change somebody's destiny. What's up with this King of Pentacles? We have Mommy Wata memory. Somebody could be getting set free from something. Freedom. There could have been a witch trying to change something for somebody. What is this? Somebody could want peace. Seven of Cups, Five of Swords. Seven of Cups, Five of Swords, King of Cups. Somebody could want peace. Somebody 
had some type of obstacles to overcome. Somebody had to overcome some sort of illusion. Somebody could have been messing with somebody's dream state. So that they could self-sabotage. Somebody was trying to mess with somebody's mind and memory too. Yeah, somebody was being sneaky as hell. King of Cups, Seven of Swords. But somebody remained balanced through the chaos. Somebody could have been messing with, like... Like calling on goddess energies or something. But somebody is getting defeated with their sneaky, underhanded, and manipulative ways here. Yeah. Because the shit keep getting illuminated. Yeah, you're free of anybody trying to control you. Or trying to control something. This person teamed up with somebody. To try to have some type of control. To balance things like they wanted to. They wanted to be in control of the attention that you get and your skill. This was to make you let it go. The spirit came in and acted. This was to make you let it go. This could be somebody's husband or something. I don't know. Who's the King of Pentacles? Who's this King of Pentacles? Oh, no, this King of Pentacles want to offer this Divine Feminine uh, opportunity. Yeah, celebrating here. Somebody been watching this person and they want to give them some type of opportunity. They see you as a goddess. They see you as an Empress energy. Yeah, Ace of Cups. You could have helped somebody transcend or elevate or get into alignment. And somebody could want to have some sort of union. Well, who is this sneaky King of Cups? Who is this sneaky King of Cups? Causing an illusion. This is somebody who, this King of Cups, could want to work with you too. They could want to heal something. This could be a player. This player was dealing with and dating a, a Queen of Swords in secret. This person was dealing with and messing with an Aquarius, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer. This person was doing something in secret. This person is under judgment. You could have been giving this person a silent treatment or something like that. Because you could have gained a higher perception or something. This person was having sex with a queen of swords. This person was dating somebody in secret.
Yeah, this person could have been trying to change something. We have seduction with this devil. This person was trying to seduce you. Ace of Wands. Trying to sleep with you to get some form of justice. This person already got their karma. They already felt some type of loss with the Five of Cups to the devil again. This person was dealing with a karmic. Something already happened. This person already got karma. This person could have been dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, or they could have faced some type of, type of loss. We have um, Aries, Sag, Cancer, Aquarius, Gemini. Somebody got somebody can have that type of moon. This person got, they came up with a bright idea to where they would have the keys. <laughs> this person tried to come up with a bright idea, but it was demonic. And they tried to come up with a bright idea in secret with a karmic. And thought that they was going to receive the keys. <laughs> this person got duped. Who's this queen of swords? That this person was dealing with. This person got duped. This person thought if they did. You gotta pay attention. This queen of swords could be wanting to sing about something, tell something. This person is suffering heartbreak and loss in secret. They in their feelings. This person is, uh, this person was hiding their feelings and hiding uh, their loss and their suffering here. This person could have been, um, This person was doing hidden things here. This person could have been trying to do something on your voice box or something like that. You got gold coming out your vocal cords. Whoever this is, they was wearing a mask. This person has a dark entity attached to them. And they were doing secret things up under the moon, but you were protected the whole time by divine power. So you was protected from this queen of swords that was doing this demonic shit with this man. Yeah, the divine stepped in fast when this witch stepped in fast on this witch. This witch did not learn a lesson. They kept on they kept on coming. So now they getting with the will of fortune to the judgment. Now they getting karma. This witch would not stop coming after you. But the divine stepped in fast on that ass. Whatever they was trying to do. Stepped in fast. This person refused to learn the lesson, so now they gotta face their karma and judgment. And you was even looking at things with a higher perception. You still show compassion. Yeah, you was being spiritually guided. You was enlightened about what was going on too. You knew. So this karmic pair or this, this, these karmic people that was a part of this group or whatever the case may be, they missed this opportunity. This, these people is disappointed. 
because all they manifested was stress and burden. But you was enlightened about what these people was doing here. And still show compassion. Yeah. You, just, you were one with the divine. You transcended. You have resurrection. Every time these people try to trap you in something. Yeah, this community of people. You, you kept getting justice. Because you kept resurrecting. You kept transcending. Yeah, you was channeling that energy. You was alchemizing it. <laughs> so it didn't destroy you. It actually set you free. Star seed. You're unconditionally loved. And you overcame these obstacles. And these plans that these people have for you. Yeah, because these people was doing sorcery. There was sorcery being done on you since the past. Possibly even since your childhood. A lot of sorcery. Yeah, when this sorcery was being done to you, I'm telling you, you was alchemizing, you um, evolved, you you created, you still decided to create, you still was looking up to the divine, you was looking up to the beyond, you ended up getting initiated here, you had, a, you went through an initiation, that's how you became enlightened. One of your family members is a part of some type of cult or something. This person, whoever this is, this family member, they was manifesting against you. This is the truth. Or your family was trying to share knowledge to some type of community about you. The fuck? A damn disappointment. The things that they said and tried to manifest against you, or this is somebody else's family. You're you're gonna have a breakthrough. Somebody could have been talking about your sexuality. Yeah, trying to betray you. <laughs> These people tried to offer your ass up, but you was already initiated. She was already initiated by the uh, the divine, by the beyond. Somebody put a death offering out on you. It's your family. Or a cult. Somebody part of some damn cult. They just wanted you to just go. That's crazy. They wanted you. Their wish fulfillment was for you to be dead. swords this was their wish fulfillment for you to be dead to be able to offer you up but you was protected from this shit yeah that's why you can't you can't get together with whoever this is because this person was manifesting against you this person ain't connected spiritually Connect is in reverse. No, it ain't. It's in the upright. But this person ain't connected spiritually. The hermit is in reverse. Whatever this person was doing spiritually, whatever they was trying to manifest, they was trying to manifest your end. They was trying to connect to get justice. They wanted to end your legacy and strip you. This is somebody else's family. Or this could even be your soul family. Somebody tried to end you. 
a man storm. Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Virgo. They could have tried to do this shit to you when you was a kid. Somebody is having an ego death. This damn magician. The magician is out here twice. Somebody having an ego death because you actually are the magician. You're powerful. And it's causing this ego death within this person. Because they tried to lay you to rest here. But you was given grace. Whatever this magic was, it actually put you in alignment instead. Um, when somebody tried to end you and offer you up as a sacrifice, you actually just resurrected. And to something new, you had a metamorphosis instead of being somewhere in somebody's graveyard. So this person is having an ego death because you are very powerful. You're a powerful woman. And you got this Ace of Cups. So. Yeah, and your love. Yeah, you were called. You were chosen. You could have uh, learned a lot. Yeah, <laughs> you got justice, honey. You got justice on this. This cycle has ended. You get, you got the power and the victory here. And whatever was being done to your sexuality, that has ended. Somebody was doing something in secret. Trying to betray you. So, yeah. Celebrate your enhancements. Because you got several enhancements and gifts here. You definitely went through a lot. This is a lot. You had two karmics. Two people connected to the devil that was on some bull crap. So it's, it's either somebody in your family or somebody a part of your soul family. There will be no union. There will be no um, partnering up because this person went against you with a karmic. So you can you're not to sleep with this person. Somebody try to sacrifice you, offer you up as a fucking sacrifice. <laughs> and somebody like to play with like goddesses. I don't know what they call them, but yeah. There was a lot of cruelty done, but don't worry because you have you have some sort of offer coming towards you. Some type of abundance. <laughs> the war is over. This bitch is running past my mind. Somebody is a soldier. The war is over. Let's see. These could be um, these could be the signs involved. This could be your sign, their sign, the sign that somebody is going to offer you something. This could be the sign of that karmic couple that went against you. We have Aquarius. Gemini.
Sagittarius. Okay, so we got Virgo, Leo, Aquarius, Gemini, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Capricorn. So these people got these signs in their chart. Aquarius, Gemini, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Capricorn, Virgo. We're going to pull a grateful heart message because it's always something to be grateful for. Oh, the joys of those who delight in the law of Yahweh. They are like trees planted along the riverbank. Also, we flipped over to it. Scorpio. So somebody also got Scorpio somewhere in the chart too. It says here, we are more than conquerors than him, through him who loved us. Trust in Yahweh with all your heart and lean out on your own understanding. Give thanks to Yahweh, for he is good. His love endures forever. Gratitude to Yahweh makes even a temporal blessing a taste of heaven. O my strength, to you I sing praises for you, O Yahweh, you are my refuge. The Yahweh who shows me unfailing love. Yahweh's goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life. And that we have here all praise to Yahweh who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms. We keep crossing we keep crossing my mind is these goddesses. So somebody could um we got is is it Yemaya? Yemaya, um, somebody could worship that, um, Mami Wata, somebody could worship that, what kind of, what kind of goddess is Mami Wata? Somebody could stutter, study like Yemaya, Oshun, Mami Watu. Somebody studies African mythology. This involved. And I can't pronounce this, whatever this other one is. I'm about to Google it though. But somebody studies African mythology that was involved in whatever this is. Whoever energy this is, it's sickening. I don't like it. What's this right here? I'm trying to make sure I ain't miss no other names. Yeah, somebody put their trust and take action 
with this African mythology stuff. Hold on, y'all. I gotta Google this and see if this is somebody's name or something. What is this? G W A N I J I N I M A I. Yeah, what is this? What the hell? What does that mean? Oh. Be careful of who you be careful who you have sex with. Cause somebody was trying to have sexual intercourse with you to do something. If you didn't have sex with somebody, this is what could have ended the cycle. Maybe they couldn't do something to you. Y'all, I don't know what this shit is. I tried to look at it. This whatever this uh part of this name means saying sex. This is dealing with sexuality and things of that nature. There could have been some secrets or some secrets about sex. Somebody was doing something, but they ain't have no business doing it. Cause Guan Guan Wani Jimmy <laughs> something. But I just wanted to make sure I got everything before I closed out. What language is this? Just stay prayed up and be careful. I don't know what that is. Is there anything else we need to know? Is there anything else we need to know about this? No. Well, I hope you all got a message from this read that will help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Peace.